one night, Rosie was coming back to the shed from working very hard for getting the culture for a bigger engine. But when she came to the tunnel, she knew someone was stuck in it. Who's there? cried Rosie. Help! cried Doc. But Rosie didn't know it was stuck. So there's no one in here, said Rosie. Huh? My imagination must be playing tricks on me. Rosie just popped away to her shed. Stuck peep and whistled. Beep, beep! Beep, beep! He cried, but no one came. Then Percy took some workmen to find the missing engine. Percy thought they were going to the seaside. I'm not going to the seaside, the woman would please crossly. But, the, but Percy still sang, See? Oh no, but first, before Percy could sing, Duck. He bumped into Duck. Percy, he cried. Are you here to save me? Yeah, but I don't know how you got in here. Yeah, me neither. Later on, Gordon came to the express with his passengers on board. Oh no, cried Gordon. Oof. Oh, my wheels, grumbled the caboose. Get out my way, Percy, Gordon said as he whistled his whistle very loudly. It's not me, it's Duck. It's not me, said Duck. It's this stupid tunnel. Gordon just groaned. Then Rebecca was chuckling to get her train. Oh no, said Rebecca. I can't stop! And then she bumped into Gordon, nearly putting his tender to the ground. Rebecca! Rumble Gordon. Be careful! Sorry, said Rebecca. Then, they heard his arms coming. However, James did not stop. Oh no, cried Rebecca, cried James, and he bashed into Rebecca. My paintwork, he screamed. Rebecca, he, he said crossly. Don't yell at Rebecca, said Gordon. It was all your fault. Stop, just stop, cried the caboose. Yeah, said Percy. Yeah, said Duck. Anyways, the bricks are gone, but we're still not free. There's one more brick in my way, Duck rumbled. All the engines rumbled and complained and blamed Duck for it. But they also blamed the brake man for it. What did I do? said the brake man crossly. I did nothing. Yes, you did, said James. Said James. You ruined my paintwork, and you made James crash into Rebecca. The caboose argued with Gordon and James and the other engines. Then Rosie came with some freight cars. Oh no, cried Rosie. Duck, you're stuck, she said. I was just delivering these freight cars. Can you please help us, said Duck. It's all Gordon's fault. No, it's James's fault. No, it's Rebecca's fault. No, it's it's the caboose's Stop, said Rosie crossly. Arguing will get you nowhere. And all the engines apologized to each other and knew Rosie was telling them from right to wrong. Rosie took away the freight cars. Rosie came to the rescue, though. Harvey, she said. Harvey, Harvey, she said. Come on. Then, Harvey came. What do you want me to do, Rosie? Can you please help these engines? They've all had a excessive crash. Yeah, said James, and my paintbrush writing, so hurry up. No need to be rude, grumbled Harvey crossly. But I will help you, he kindly smiled. Harvey got the bricks off the tracks and, and then puffed carefully to help duck in the other engines. Thankfully, Harvey got all the engines back on the rails. Thank you, Harvey, whistled Percy. Yeah, said Duck. Then Sir Topham Hat came. Harvey, he said, you have been a really useful engine today. You have helped the engines, and Rosie, you deserve a new coat of paint for being really saw as well. For getting Harvey to help Duck and to get the engines for not blaming each other. Oh, thank you, sir, blushed Rosie with flatteredness. And all the engines laughed. 